Scientists in Japan are trying to rein in nature and save lives. Heavy snow blankets areas along the Sea of Japan coast in winter. It can sometimes trigger disasters that kill and injure. So the scientists are experimenting with a technology that produces rain and snow in order to reduce it. NHK World Sachio Sugita shows us how it works. In mid-January, Japanese scientists conducted an experiment. This is the view from 3.5 kilometers above the sea near Akita. This cloud will drop a lot of snow when it reaches land. The plane carried liquid carbon dioxide. It's to be released in the cloud to control snowfall. Researchers have long been studying and using this technology to produce rain and snow, aiming to solve water shortages. Professor Kikuro Tomine is the leading Japanese researcher in this field. Japan has suffered water shortages, but in recent years, a record amount of rain and snow has fallen. Tomine has been working on ways to apply this technology to curb precipitation on land and the resulting natural disasters. You can make the clouds vanish depending on how you release the carbon dioxide. The method to produce rain can be also used to reduce rain. Many researchers worldwide have attempted to create rain artificially using silver iodide or dry ice. But scientists from Japan use a different substance, liquid carbon dioxide. It is used to make carbonated drinks and fairly easy to obtain. Its impact on the environment is very small. For this experiment, liquid carbon dioxide was blasted into a cloud that might produce snow. Inside the cloud, ice crystals form because the liquid carbon dioxide cools the water vapor instantly. The goal is to create ice crystals and discharge them as rain or snow before the clouds grow large. On the day of the experiment, the researchers head offshore of Akita Prefecture. Heavy snow has been falling there every day. I'm aiming for the part in front that's swelling. Is that okay? That's it. We're ready to discharge. They had fired off about 13 kilograms of liquid carbon dioxide. The cloud began to change after half an hour. This is the cloud. It's getting fuzzier. The cloud at the back was not treated. The mist in the front of it is a cloud that was sprayed. It had thinned out because the moisture has been reduced. The snow created by the experiment was seen falling into the sea. They checked the radar images of the cloud. The image on the left was taken before the experiment, the one on the right afterwards. The cloud was thinner where the aircraft had passed. If we can prove that releasing liquid carbon dioxide into clouds is effective, we can start putting this method into practice and decrease accidents. Our job now is to come up with concrete results. Inspired by a desire to reduce the number of accidents and deaths from natural disasters, Tomine will press on with his work. Sachio Sugita, NHK World.